Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Carly and welcome to my YouTube family. Today's video is going to be my combination of January and February favourites. I didn't get a chance to film my January favourites. Life just got in the way. I've been so busy with my other job, I wasn't able to film a January favourites and so I thought I would just combine today's video for both January and February favourites of products I've been loving that I've been using over the past two months. If you do like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel down below so you don't miss out on any new videos and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I've posted a new video. Okay let's just jump straight into the video if you'd like to see my January and February favourites beauty products then please keep watching. Okay so first up is a primer and this has been my absolute favourite go to primer over the last two months or so ever since I bought it which was just before Christmas. And it is from Tarcha. This is the Silk Canvas Primer and I'm obsessed with this primer. It does everything I want a primer to do. It's very hydrating and it smooths out my skin at the same time. So usually I use more of a hydrating luminous primer and then I do a smoothing primer over the top to smooth out pores. This one just does everything in one. It's so incredible. And it just looks like this inside. You get this little disc that you can use to scoop out some product but I generally just use my finger to scoop it out. But I just absolutely love this primer. It just makes my skin look so soft and feels really smooth before I apply face products. And I've just been using this primer non-stop. So it's definitely been my favourite one for January and February. Okay, next is a foundation I've been loving. This one is from Becca. This is the Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I just love this foundation. I can't say enough good things about it. I use the shade Olive, which I am wearing on my skin today when I have a tan and... I get so many compliments when I wear this foundation. It just makes my skin look so dewy, really smooth, flawless. It just has the perfect amount of coverage. It's more of a medium buildable to a full coverage and that's why I like it because it can still look quite natural if you just use a tiny bit or you can build it up to a really nice full coverage if that's what you're wanting. So this has been my go-to foundation recently and I just absolutely love this one from Becca. Next up is concealer and this has been my go-to concealer recently, the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I just love the formula of this. First of all, this packaging is so heavy. <laughs> you get so much product in here and I just love this concealer. I use the shade Almond and it's just perfect for Covering under the eyes, if you get really dark eye circles, this one it covers really well. It's more of that creamier consistency than a liquid, so you get a really full coverage. But it's also very hydrating and it's just such a beautiful formula. It doesn't dry out under my eyes, it doesn't give me any creasing and I just love this one. I also have a contour colour that I love to use to cream contour with, so... This is a really versatile concealer and it's been my favourite lately. Okay, next up is a powder and this one is from Huda Beauty. This is the Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. I use the shade Pound Cake. This has just been my favourite go-to powder for baking under my eyes and also down the centre of the face when I've highlighted with a concealer. And I also love to use this just to lightly set the rest of my face for more of a translucent powder finish, nothing too heavy. And this powder I find is not drying at all. It doesn't look dry under the eyes or cause any creasing or anything. So this has just been my favourite powder to use. I really recommend trying this one out if you're looking for a really nice baking powder or a powder to use just to set your makeup lightly as well. So this has been my favourite go-to powder for January and February. Next I have a palette. This is from Smashbox. This is the Ablaze Face Palette, which is a blush, bronze and highlight palette. I am obsessed with this palette. I love it so much. It just has so many beautiful shades in here. You have your two contour and bronze shades, some blushes. These two blush colours I've been wearing non-stop in summer here in Australia. This bright coral shade is just everything. When you have really nice bronzed tan skin, putting this nice coral tone on your cheeks just gives that pop of colour. It just looks absolutely beautiful. And you have some highlight shades as well. So this is just a really versatile everything in one palette that I've been using recently and I've just been loving it throughout the last couple of months. And now for a bronzer, I think I have found a drugstore bronzer that is probably one of my favourite bronzers I've ever used at the moment and it's from L'Oreal. This is the Back to Bronze Gentle Matte Bronzing Powder and you can see how beat up this looks because I've pretty much been wearing this every single day. I absolutely love it. What I love about it is the colour. It's more of a warm, neutral bronzer. It's not too cool toned, which I prefer. I like that more golden tone on my skin. And 
This just looks so beautiful. It applies really lightly, but it's very pigmented, so you can build up how much product you want without it looking patchy or too heavy on the skin. So that's what I really love about this. And it's definitely a dupe in shade for MAC Give Me Sun, which is my favourite bronzer pretty much of all time. So I absolutely love this bronzer and it is drugstore, so it's a lot more affordable than a high-end bronzer. And I find that this just complements my skin when I have more fair or tan skin. I can wear it. That's what I really love about this bronzer as well. And I have a, another face palette here. This is from Too Faced. It's the Highlight, Blush and Bronzing Veil Face Palette. This packaging is absolutely stunning and it's very heavy. It's very heavy duty packaging, but I absolutely love this palette. And these are the shades in this palette here. I really love the bronzing shades in this palette here and the highlights. I just think they're absolutely beautiful. This pink blush, I wasn't too keen on at first because I'm not a massive fan of bright pink blushes, but it's actually quite a softer pink than it looks in the pan. It just gives a really beautiful rosy glow to the cheeks. So this is another very versatile all-in-one palette. I've just been using these a lot recently just because it's so much easier to get a palette that has everything in one. And this one just has really soft, subtle colours on the cheeks when you're just wanting that really natural, glowing look. This palette is perfect for that and I've been really loving it the past couple of months. Okay, this next product came back out again. It was limited edition originally and now it's come back and I am so happy because I'm obsessed with it. It is hands down my favourite highlighter at the moment and it is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezy. This is their collaboration highlighter and I'm just in love with this highlighter. It's so incredibly beautiful. And this is what it looks like. It's just the perfect light gold champagne highlighter and it's just got the most creamy smooth formula and it's very very pigmented it just looks so beautiful on the skin I'm wearing it today you can just see it gives that beautiful illuminating glow I absolutely love this highlighter and I can also use this when I'm more fair or tan so that's why I love it as well it just complements both skin tones and I am just obsessed with this highlighter I love the pattern in here as well I think that's really pretty but this is definitely my favourite highlighter that I've been using the past few months. And next up is an eyeshadow palette that I've been reaching for non-stop lately. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry eyeshadow palette. First of all, can we just appreciate this packaging? Like how incredibly beautiful is that? I love this packaging. The glitter, the bright copper tone, I just think it looks so beautiful. And these are the shades in this palette here. And the reason I've been loving this palette is it does have a few more cooler tones in it and I've been trying to change up my eye looks recently. I'm always a fan of warmer tone smoky eyes, bronzers, golds, browns, but this palette has got more of the cooler tones in it, which I really like. And I am wearing some of these shades on my eyes today. I'm using Birch in the crease, which is this beautiful mustard brown tone. And I have... I have Dystopian in the outer corners, which is a cool, rich brown. And then on the lid, I have this beautiful colour here called Cinder, which is this really cool bronze tone colour. I don't have a colour like that in my collection. This was something more unique that I saw and I really liked it. So I've been reaching for this palette quite a lot over the past few months and I've just been creating some more cool tone looks with it. So I've been loving this palette and Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows are some of my favourites. The formula is amazing. The mattes are so creamy and really pigmented. And all the shimmer shades are just beautiful as well. They've got a lot of pigment in them. They don't crack or crumble on the eyes. And I don't get a lot of fallout at all from these shadows. So I've just been really loving this Anastasia Sultry palette. Okay, next I have a couple of eyeliners that I've been loving. The first one is a pencil eyeliner. This is from Marc Jacobs. It's one of the highliner gel crayons and I absolutely love the formula of these. I've spoken about the brown shade before called Brown Out. That's my absolute favourite brown eyeliner. So I picked up the black one and I am just obsessed with it. I've been using it non-stop as my black liner to wear in the waterline especially. This formula is incredible. It literally does not move. It's so pigmented in the waterline. It doesn't go that kind of yucky grey tone that some eyeliners do in the waterline. It's just really, really black and it does not move. It doesn't budge. It doesn't smudge or leak out of the waterline at all. So I'm obsessed with the formula of these Marc Jacobs eyeliners. I think I have to try out some more shades because I just love these eyeliners from Marc Jacobs. And next is a liquid liner. This is from Fenty Beauty. This is the Fly Liner Long Wear Liquid Eyeliner. This has just changed my opinion of liquid eyeliners. I was never really a fan of the pens. I just found them to be 
really liquidy, they would smudge and they just wouldn't sit well on the eyes, they would fade in colour. I tend to go for more gel eyeliners but this one has definitely changed my opinion. I've been using this non-stop recently and it's just so easy to use to create a wing. I used it on my eye today, you can get a really nice thin line and then create a really nice thin wing on the end because the tip of it is so incredibly thin and just so easy to use. It's very pigmented, very black and I find that it doesn't smudge, it's not really too liquidy so it sets straight away and it just looks beautiful on the eyes. I don't have any issues with it smudging or transferring which I do find with a lot of other liquid eyeliners so this one is my holy grail black liquid liner at the moment. Okay next is a mascara which has become my favourite mascara I've ever used and it is from NARS. This is the Climax Mascara. I just love this mascara. I don't know what it is. The brush isn't too different from other mascaras I've used but the formula is just incredible. It just gives my lashes so much length and volume. It doesn't transfer down onto my face from my lower lashes which other mascaras tend to do and this one is just incredible. The brush is just quite a normal thickness. Not too thick, not too thin. The brush hairs are really soft and flexible and I just find I can coat my lashes quite a few times and they don't look too thick or too clumpy or anything so this is definitely my favourite mascara. And next is some lashes. Since I've used these lashes a couple of months ago they've just been my go-to lashes. They are from Ardell. They are the Demi Wispies and I'm just obsessed with these lashes. They're perfect for day or night time. The reason I love them is because they're not too thick and not too long. Because of my eye shape I have more hooded eyes if I wear lashes that are too long or too thick, they literally cover up my whole eyelid, go right up to my eyebrows. You can't see any eyeshadow or anything on my eyelids, so these lashes are perfect. They still give me a nice little bit of length, subtle volume, but they don't look too thick or too heavy for my eyes. So these are my favourite lashes that I've been using the past couple of months. Lastly, I have a few lip products to mention. The first one has been my go-to lip liner that I've been using non-stop recently. It is from Kali Cosmetics and this is the lip pencil in the shade Coconut. This is such a beautiful colour. It reminds me of MAC Strip Down but it's got a slight more pink tone to it. But I just absolutely love this colour and I love the formula of these Kali Cosmetics lip liners. They're so creamy, they're so pigmented and they just apply so smoothly on the lips as well. I could fill in my whole lip with this lip liner and it would stay put like it doesn't come off when you're eating or drinking or anything but I just love using this as my nude lip liner and using a slightly lighter tone lip colour over the top and I just love how that's been looking. I am wearing it today as my lip liner and it's just been my favourite shade and my favourite formula of lip liner recently. And next is a liquid lipstick. This is from Fenty Beauty. This is one of the stunner lip paints in the shade Unbutton. This has just been my go-to perfect nude shade recently. I am wearing it on my lips today. It is more of a peachy pink tone nude and I'm just obsessed with this colour and the formula is amazing. These are the most comfortable liquid lipsticks to wear. They are so pigmented. They do feel a little bit more kind of like liquidy watery when you apply it but it does set on your lips and it just feels like you're not wearing anything. They're just so lightweight. I don't find that they dry out or crack on my lips whatsoever so Definitely a fan of the formula and this shade has just been my absolute favourite nude lip colour to wear over the past couple of months. And lastly, another liquid lipstick that I've been using non-stop recently is from Maybelline. This is one of the Superstay Matte Ink liquid lipsticks in the shade Driver. This one is a little bit more of a brown, peachier tone and if I'm wanting a bit more of a darker nude, this is the colour I've been going for. I love the formula of these Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks. They are such good quality for drugstore liquid lips. They just apply beautifully. They do not dry out on my lips at all or crack or anything. They're really comfortable to wear and they are very, very opaque in colour as well. So I'm a big fan of these. I have quite a few shades. They are my go-to drugstore liquid lips at the moment and there's just so many beautiful colours. I highly recommend you try out these Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick. Okay, so those are all of my favourite beauty products for the months of January and February. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.